In this video, we're going to look at how we can collect artifacts or evidence for students as part of the All About Me Creating Pathways to Success portfolio, or it could be some pedagogical documentation that you're doing for students. What you want to do is log into D2L and go into your class. Once you're in your class, go into the Portfolio tool. Inside of the portfolio tool, you will see your class portfolios. And right now we have some fake students here. And I would like to add some items for, let's say that we want to add some items for Lightning McQueen. So I'm going to click on Lightning McQueen. I'm now inside of Lightning McQueen's portfolio. Right now, Lightning McQueen doesn't have any evidence. So I would like to add to the portfolio. And I'm going to be doing that from a browser. So that could be from a desktop. Chromebook, a laptop, it can be from a tablet, it can be from a phone. So I'm going to go ahead and click on to portfolio and I'm going to decide how I would like to add the evidence. If I have the evidence on my school drive, on the hard drive of my laptop, so I've saved it under C, my, my download, something like that, or I've created folders, I might even have a, a USB drive attached or I might have a camera attached. So let's look at uploading uh, from a computer, whatever type of file. I'm going to go ahead and browse and then I'm simply looking for the file that I would like to upload. Okay. And open and it's uploading right now the evidence to Lightning McQueen's portfolio. Okay, and we now have our evidence right here. And let's do another one of those. So I'm gonna to add to portfolio again. This time I'm going to pick Google Drive. If I'm already signed into my Google Drive, it automatically will go to my Google Drive, but you do have the option of changing and going to maybe a personal drive or something like that if you would like to do that. Um, you also, on a Chromebook, it may direct you to proceed to your drive. So there might be another button in between. Okay, so what would I like to put in um, can be any kind of file that I want to put in. It could be a video, it could be an audio recording, could be a picture, totally up to you, whatever you would like to put in. So you might organize your Google Drive um, and have files set up into folders for students, however you want to do it. So I'm just going to do a search here and let's say that this is the file that I would like to, to include. So in this case, it's actually a Google Doc. But really, as I mentioned, you can upload any kind of file you want. Audio, video, Google Doc, Word, image files, anything. And that also applies when we uploaded from the computer. So we now have a file that is a Google Doc as well as we have an image file. And remember that we can upload them from various sources. Once you have the evidence, you have some options of various things that you can, you can do. You can share it with the parents. Right now it's not shared with the parents. You can add comments, you can add a category, kind of like a tag, or you can spotlight it. So keeping it as the main item. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spotlight this item. And I would also like to add a category or tag for this item. So I'm going to click on that. And right here for the evidence categories, I'm going to click on it. There are a number of categories that you can pick from. And so I'm going to pick a few of the categories.
So if you're doing something related to early years and you wanted to get something around problem solving and innovating, you have that there. Okay, so those are done. I'm just gonna click on the X. I have other options. So I can share with parents. This sharing works with Brightspace for parents. And so you have to have that set up and that may not be set up yet in your board. So you wanna check on that. But to share it with parents for, with, for the, the tool Brightspace for parents, you're clicking here. Um, you can also type something on behalf of the student um, or the student can type it if they're old enough to do that. But if you're doing it for them, you have the option of typing it for them. Um, as well as you can title the item if you would like to. And that's it. So in order to upload files, uh, a few simple steps will allow you to do that. You can do that from a laptop or a phone, and you have the options to upload from various sources, including Google Drive, a camera on your computer, regular files on your computer, and so on.